a very good morning to all my going comes hope you all are doing well so today we will be revising one, another system of our body that's what you call the digestive system in this system we will try to understand what happens to the food after it is uh, taken but uh, before understanding this let us just understand this question that why our body need food i'm sure you all must be knowing that we have been saying it again and again that human body is just like a machine right and uh, like the machine requires the fuel to carry out its function same is the case with the human body human body needs food because this food gives them energy and this energy helps them to carry out their work be it study be it play or any type of work that is assigned to an individual so thus we can say our body needs food because it gives us energy it helps us for the growth and development it repairs damaged body parts and makes our bones and muscles quite strong and nevertheless you should remember it is this food that keeps us fit and healthy now i am sure you all must be knowing that the food that we eat cannot be directly used or absorbed by the body or a blood it needs to be digested first of all and that a digestion is carried out by this system that's what you call the digestive system okay this uh, digestion is basically a process in which complex food we eat is broken down it is broken down into simple soluble substances that become easy for a body to absorb and use right so digestion is a process where the complex food is broken down into simple soluble substances fine now you should know that this digestion starts right from the mouth and ends at the anus right once we put the food in the mouth our digestion starts inside the mouth we know we have got a different type of teeth right and every teeth has got a special function to be carried out we have got incisors canines premolars molars and every teeth has got a special function to be carried out incisors and canines are considered as in cutting and tearing through teeth whereas premolars and molars are grinding teeth the premolars has got and molars has got a, a you know some kind of a flat structure as a result of which that helps in grinding and mixing the food the food basically mixes with a juice a digestive juice that is present in our mouth this juice is known as saliva right this saliva basically once uh, mixed with a food it tries to break down the food into small simple pieces right and then it can be easily passed through a passage that's what we call the esophagus or food pipe into the stomach right so while chewing or while the food is in the mouth there is basically a first step of our digestion because it mixes with a digestive juice what is that called right it's called saliva and swallowing we have to swallow it via a passage that's what we call the esophagus right and esophagus is a kind of a pipe that is meant for the easy passage of the food so for now i will stop over here and uh, will come up with uh, more videos